can remember the first time I met her, I think in 1999, practicing. I can picture the court. Wasn't it like court number 22? Oh, I don't know the exact court. You just court. told me you know for sure. Well, why don't you want I'm, I'm smart as? He was the new guy in Bradenton, Florida. He was going to take over the office there, and it's kind of where they send the, the guinea pigs <laughs> to, where they have to kind of learn. And it's, it's not too hard, but yet it's a bit of a challenge because there's a lot of kids and a lot of parents. I just started at IMG, and uh, they gave me a list of young players that I was going to be looking after, and I can remember just going to court to court, and I saw Maria hitting the ball, and I just was like, oh my God, this is like incredible. Just the concentration, the, the focus, the, the way she hit the ball. What did he know? He came from like the music business. When I was at the WTA, I looked after all the sponsorship and marketing. That was back in about 2000, um, and I became good friends with her agent, Max. Um, and uh, got to know Maria and her family. Had a chance to work with her quite a lot professionally and then also got to know her socially as well. And there was definitely a buzz. People definitely thought she had talent and you know, she was a special player. It was about what is she, what can we do at IMG? What can I do to help um, make their life easier? I didn't even sign with you. I was one of the like 20 that ended up being a part of your group. When I first started working with her, I was actually skinny and had hair and could play tennis. You had a bit more hair. Yeah. Not much. You must have lost it when you were very young. Listen, in 1999, I had a lot of hair. And I was skinny and had abs. Listen, you are the only one that walks around with your high school document in your wallet. It's not high school. It's my college ID. Same shit. And I was a, pretty much of a clown on the court and joking. So we, we became, you know, working but friendly. So a lot of our relationships, I was playing tennis with her a lot. So I was hitting with her and... Let me say it, let me say it for you. You know, he's actually a pretty good tennis player. Have you ever seen me play doubles? That is why you beat me in doubles. And then little by little, I started taking a lot of his time. And little by little, he started getting rid of the other clients. <laughs> you know, the relationship evolved, you know, as she started getting more successful and winning, she was holding on closer to the people that have been around her for a long time. I haven't been working in tennis for quite a while now. I guess it's been probably about seven or eight years. Maria's become a really, really good friend, and I feel, you know, very lucky to call her and call her a friend.